In this video, I'm going to be discussing uh, equations that have special solutions. So far, when we have solved an equation, we've always ended up with a single answer, like x equals 2, x equals 5, something like that. Uh, today, we're going to look at something a little bit different. So here I have two equations, and I'm going to use my trusty foldable to solve these two equations. So let's start with the one on the left. So let's see, following my foldable, it says the first thing to do is distribute. So I'm going to distribute my two. So I get two x minus eight equals two x minus eight. Um, I look to see if I can combine like terms on the same side. Two x and negative eight can't combine. Two x and negative eight can't combine. So I can skip that step. The next step, is to move my variables to the same side. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna move this 2x. So I'm gonna subtract 2x from both sides. And so this cancels to give me zero, but at the same time, this cancels to give me zero. So what I get here is I get negative eight equals negative eight. This is something we've never seen before and um, can happen when we're solving equations. When I get negative eight equals negative eight. This is one of our special solutions. This is what's called an identity. Now negative eight will always equal negative eight. That's why it's called an identity. And so what happens when we get an identity is we say that the solution to this problem the solution is all real numbers. So whenever we see a number equal to itself, we say the solution is all real numbers, meaning it doesn't matter what number I plug in for x, the answer is always going to work. And we can kind of see that from the beginning. We see up here, oh, I've got 2x minus 8 equals 2x minus 8. That is always the case. No matter what you plug in for x, this is going to be true. So whenever that happens, you get a number equal to itself, we say the solution is all real numbers. Let's try another one. So I'm going to follow my foldable again. So I draw my brick wall to stay organized. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is distribute. So I distribute uh, that stays, so 3x minus 5 equals 4x minus 4 minus x. This doesn't change. Uh, following my foldable, the next thing I need to do is combine like terms on the same side. Well, nothing can combine here. But over here, oh, I've got a 4x and a minus x. So that combines to give us 3x minus 4. And then over here, I have 3x minus 5. Now, kind of the same thing has happened as last time. I have 3x on both sides. So I'm going to move 3x, so minus 3x minus 3x. Well, this cancels, this cancels. And what I'm left with is negative 5 equals negative 4. Now, this is similar, but a little bit different than the last case we looked at. Because here's the thing, negative five will never, ever, ever equal negative four. It's not just gonna magically wake up one day and decide that it wants to be negative four. So whenever this happens, your variables cancel and you get two numbers that aren't equal to each other, like this, we say there is no solution. Because no matter what we plug in, these two equations will never meet, will never work. So these are the two cases we can have. We can have no solution when a number is equal to something that isn't itself, or we can have an identity where the solution is equal to itself, so I have a number equal to itself. Now this doesn't get rid of our original. We can still have answers like x equals 4, x equals 5. That doesn't go away. But these are the other two cases that could possibly happen. So what I want you to do now is I want you to pause the video and work out these two questions.
Now that you've attempted these problems, let me give you the solutions. So let's start with the one on the left. So I'm going to start by drawing my brick wall, keep it organized. Uh, then I'm going to do the distributive property. Now I'm not going to distribute x here. What I'm going to distribute is that unseen negative 1. So I distribute my negative 1, so I get x minus 3x minus 4 equals negative 2x plus 9. Next, I'm going to combine my like terms on the same side. So positive 1x minus 3x is negative 2x minus 4 equals negative 2x plus 9. So like we saw before, we're going to undo this minus 2x with a plus, And they both cancel. So what I get here is negative 4 equals 9. Since negative 4 will never equal 9, this problem has no solution. So hopefully you got that one right. Let's look at the next one. So I'm going to start again, draw my brick wall. And doing the distributive property. So I distribute the 2. So I get 5x plus 8 equals 2x plus 8 plus 3x. Then I combine my like terms. So I have my 2x and my 3x gives me 5x plus 8, 5x plus 8. We can actually stop the process here because 5x plus 8 will always equal 5x plus 8. I don't need to go through the next step of canceling out the 5x. So this is an identity, meaning that the solution is all real numbers. So hopefully got both of these right and this video has helped.